We're in the hills of Austin, Texas, and I'm about to walk you through one of the best plans built by Perry Homes with fantastic upgrades on the interior. Stay tuned for this walkthrough. Hey everyone, Raj Sahu here. I'm a realtor in Central Texas, but I don't think you should always use me as a realtor. More on that a little bit later on in the video. Today, we're walking through the 4199S plan with Perry Homes. Now this home is on the resale market. It was built back in 2020, but I think you'll see it's well-maintained and has great upgrades from the current homeowners who are selling this home. This home is five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, sitting just over 4,300 square feet. And as you can tell, when we first walk in, it's open to the second story. Here, it's also open to the second story in the living room. And while we go through this home, you'll see, again, great upgrades chosen by the sellers. And I wanna give a big shout out to the listing agent, Jenna Hensley with Real Broker, for allowing me to post this video online because I had to show it when she sent me all the pictures of this home because take a look at some of these upgrades they did in here. I love how epic the light fixtures are and some of the upgrades that they chose here. And I'm gonna try to go through as many of them as possible. And it starts right here in the kitchen. From a design standpoint, I like what they did here with the light fixture, just matching up with what we saw previously. They did two-tone cabinets, so you'll notice the island is gray, but all the exterior cabinets are white. I like the upper cabinets they did with the glass insert. And then from a plan perspective, take a look at this view from just the sink area. Look at all those windows on the back wall and you get so much natural light coming in. And I think that's why they did blinds on the bottom uh, just because the sun's kind of setting right now on the back side of the home. And then we have monogram appliances and I like what they did here where gray on the island, white on the exterior cabinets and then backsplash ties everything together. Really well done in terms of upgrades chosen. And then on this side, we do have a double oven and a built-in microwave right above those two ovens. Good movement, I think, in the countertop. And this is why I like also looking at new homes that are on the resale market. Sometimes you get homeowners who really know what they're doing. And when they go to the design studio and they design a fantastic home, sometimes you don't want to go through that work and do it yourself. It's great to just have a home already ready that you can just move into quickly. Now we're gonna head over to the breakfast nook area and living room. Um, this is gonna be a look at the butler's pantry that goes to a dining room that's closer to the front of the home. We'll circle back there, but I wanna cover the main parts of this, which I always hear from buyers, that main living room, kitchen areas where they spend a lot of time. And that's why I like this breakfast nook area. This is fitting a six seater table, still a lot of room for the patio door on the left side. And look at how massive this couch is in the living room. And this is why I like walking homes that are staged by homeowners. Because sometimes you get a stager come in, they put these two small couches in the living room. It doesn't really show you from a visual standpoint of how big things are. But when you see how big that couch is, you see the tile work above the fireplace that goes all the way to the ceiling. And then with all these windows that are coming in from a great builder like Perry, with all the different design touches. That's what I think really makes this living room, kitchen, breakfast, nook area all come together. Now I'm gonna show you the two bedrooms that are on the back side of the home. Uh, and actually before we get to this bedroom, there is a powder bathroom right here. So I mentioned four and a half bathrooms. And then the bedroom that we're about to see is actually the spare bedroom downstairs. So this isn't the primary bedroom. We'll get to that in a couple minutes. I like the spare bedroom because of how private it is from the other areas of the home. And if you have somebody, and I mentioned in a lot of my videos, you know, parents staying with you um, or somebody you want staying close by on the first floor and you don't want them going up and down the steps, it's great to have a bedroom with an in-suite full bathroom with the grab bar. So if you notice that piece of metal there, that's a grab bar and usually they have to put blocking behind that. Um, they can't just obviously have that metal bar hanging on drywall, uh, but it, it's something that I find is very useful. And in fact, I have somebody who's currently building a home with Perry and they did a grab bar on their second 
uh, spare bathroom downstairs for their parents. Uh, they wanted to just make sure, you know, as they age, that there's just an extra level of security there, which I think is a great idea. Moving on, this is going to be the laundry room, but I, I didn't want to show that. There are sellers currently living in the home, so I wanted to give some privacy there. Uh, and if you really want to walk through of that laundry room, let me know. I'm happy to get a video from the listing agent or something like that. This is going to be a look at the primary bedroom and primary bathroom. I love all the windows here. I'm going to take a look at how many windows are here. I'm counting 10, no, 12. Wow. Yeah, one on either side of the bed, four on that side wall, and then transom windows above those. Absolutely amazing. In fact, I had to keep the blinds down because there's just so much natural light coming in right now with the sun setting back there. Amazing. Take a look at the primary bathroom. I like what they did with the mirrors here where they have that uh, on the outside or on the banner, that light that kind of lights everything up in here. Uh, and then we have a walk-in shower with that freestanding tub right next to it. And they do have two shower heads. They did the rain shower, which is usually a structural upgrade with the builder. And then we do have a primary closet here with a linen closet on one side and a commode, of course, on, on the other side. Uh, one, I mentioned it before, there are sellers living in the home. And so, you know, it, it gives you an idea of kind of how much room is in here and how much uh, how much you can pack in here. I don't want to give like a full perspective and go in there. I do, do want to be respectful for the sellers and also respect the fact that it's not easy to sell your house when you have kids and you're still living in the home. And even without kids, just moving in general is very difficult. So I'll keep doing my best to give you that visual that I think is needed to understand what's possible with homes in this area uh, while still giving respect to the sellers. Heading back to the front of the home, we have a study and a dining room right behind us. I love what they did here in the study. If you like the idea of doing a YouTube studio, check this out. Right behind the computer, you have this awesome accent wall with freestanding shelves on either side and then lighting. And I have to double check that those are freestanding shelves because if it's furniture, it usually goes with the seller, but if it's fixed to the wall, usually then it will stay. But that's something we can always ask the listing agent if uh, interested. But I think that really gives a good perspective on a study. And I love the windows that they did here and how open everything else is. In fact, the double doors, I think make a big difference, especially on a home like this. And this is gonna be the formal dining room area. Previously, we saw a breakfast nook area that you could fit a six seater table. Uh, but of course, if you need a little bit more space, this is a good amount of room in the dining room. And then I was gonna head upstairs, uh, but first I actually wanted to go back to that butler's pantry that I missed. Um, I think we just briefly looked at it. So let's go back to it. And then I wanna show you a quick look at the garage. So this is that same butler's pantry that we saw previously. Great spot for a coffee maker as you're showing here. Some spots for some wine, if that's your thing, which is great. And then of course that kitchen that we saw previously. Now this is gonna be a four car garage, but it's a three car with a one car tandem. And I always tell this to people, especially when they're coming from areas where, where they have basements and they have areas for storage. Great to have that much space in the garage here in Texas. Uh, you know, you wanna have a place to put bikes and store some things while still having access for cars smart upgrade uh, by the sellers and that's why I, I like walking homes like this they're well designed I, if you can imagine i've walked a lot of homes so i can kind of pick and choose which ones to walk and i really like what they did in here especially when we get to the second floor so this is going to be the game room loft area and this is a kid's paradise up here you have castle making in the middle part of the room you have toys around the exterior you know you have a I think a, a tent on one side that you can just hang out in and it all looks right down into that living room area. Everything feels very open concept. Uh, you have so much natural light coming in from the windows. And then I know somebody's gonna say it, I missed the backyard, but um, y there is a great view of what's possible here in this community, which I'll talk about in a second. The homeowners did have their dog outside, so I wasn't able to go to the backyard patio. By the way, beautiful day out for their dog. I'm sure he's very happy being out there while I was in here for just 15 minutes. Uh, so if you did want a walkthrough of that backyard, you know, I can grab a video of that. Just reach out to me if you're really interested in this home. On this side, we just have a storage area that they did as kind of like just the desk area to maybe get some privacy away from the game room and all the activities that are here. 
and then we did have a few bedrooms to cover here but first i wanted to show you this great media room i like what they did here with just these couches on the side uh, that are look look like recliners and then you have this big screen tv uh, and then they do have some windows in here but easy to just kind of pull the curtains on those darken the room especially after a long day of work you just want to sit back watch a game watch a movie or have the kids watch a movie and i like what they did there with darkening the walls just to make that space feel a little bit more calm which i think is always great to do in a media room now we do have a full bathroom here that is accessible from the hallway. Uh, the other bathroom is gonna be a Jack and Jill full bathroom between two bedrooms. Uh, but this one's accessible for the hallway and I'm just gonna quick show you the tile work that's done here. I like how they kept it just light and bright and it really complements the other design upgrades that they chose in here. But nothing compares to this bedroom upstairs. I actually showed this to my wife because we have an 18 month old daughter and this was the dream right here. I love what the homeowners did with that, that light fixture that is amazing. And then look at this closet, it just gets extended all the way out. I don't believe usually this is the case in the 4199 plan. There was some uh, pseudo custom work is what I would call it from the homeowners. So as we always say with these plans, a lot of the square footage and rooms are always approximate. And these builders do change these plans over time. But the base of this plan was based around the 4199S plan, like I said earlier in the video. Now, while we walk through these two bedrooms that have that Jack and Jill full bathroom in between them, I do want to explain a couple things. First off, I mentioned Perry was more pseudo custom because they seem to be a little bit more open minded at times for getting custom quotes. For example, I have a homeowner that got a custom quote for double sliding glass doors in the back wall in their living room. And the majority of production builders, I would say that would be a hard pass and definite no. Uh, with Perry, we were able to get a quote for that. Now that doesn't mean Perry's gonna give a quote for every single custom item and move walls and different things like that. They're still production builder, but again, they're just a little bit more open-minded compared to other builders that I've worked with. Speaking of which, the second part to that was if you are interested in this home or new construction in general, reach out to me. My information's in the description of this video and I've worked with 18 builders just in the last couple of years. So I know the good and the bad when working with builders or looking at homes like this on the resale market. And when I said earlier in the video, you don't always wanna work with me. What I meant by that is if I think your criteria makes sense for one of my realtor partners who's more specialized in your criteria, I will not hesitate to connect you with somebody who I think is of more value to you. Thanks again to Jenna Hensley, the listing agent for this home. Take care.